The Living Planet Report from 2022 is a report produced in partnership between WWF and ZSL. This report comes out every two years and this current edition shows that from the headline statistic, which is the Living Planet Index, shows us that there's been a 69% decline in monitored wildlife populations between 1970 and 2018. And what we see when we look at trends in different parts of the world is we're finding that the most severe declines are in highly biodiverse regions. We see the most severe decline in Latin America and Caribbean region of 94% between 1970 and 2018. We also took a look at freshwater populations as well, and we find that freshwater populations tend to be doing worse than terrestrial or marine ones. We found a 83% decline among freshwater populations. The Living Planet Index is something we produce here at ZSL. It's comprised of thousands of wildlife population time series monitored from all over the world. And what we do is we collate the data primarily from scientific papers. And these paper, papers have been authored by thousands of scientists as well. And that's where we get the data from. So in order to get this year's results, it's been a year long endeavour. Seven of us at the Indicators and Assessments Unit at ZSL have been working on this to process the data, analyse the results and to produce the latest LPI statistic. This year's Living Planet Index is our most comprehensive version of the index to date. It contains 420,000 data points for 5,230 species across 195 countries around the world. And despite this massive influx in data, we still see these catastrophic declines. So one of the things we can do with the data we have underlying the index is explore the threats that these populations face. And when we look at the most frequently reported threats to these populations, what we find is habitat loss and degradation and exploitation are the most frequently reported, giving us some indicator about the kind of things we have to tackle. Our research gives us a clear message. We're chipping away at the very foundations of life on Earth, the foundations of the life that we rely upon, and urgent action is needed. This December at COP15 in Montreal, there's a unique once in a decade opportunity to call upon governments to put nature and climate change at the heart of global decision making. We're asking governments to make stronger commitments to goals and targets and to incorporate the Living Planet Index as a headline indicator to help reverse the trend of biodiversity loss.